In this clip, I'm going to show you how to create an Agile project schedule. As you know, in Agile development, we take the project and divide it into many projects called sprints. There are many advantages to using the Agile method of sprints. A few major ones are Agile development gives you better control over the project. When you run a project, there can be many factors that you need to control, such as resources, tasks, clients, etc. The more variables there are, the greater the changes are that something will go wrong. Dividing the projects into sprints gives you better control over the project process, since the sprints are shorter and require you to worry about a limited number of factors. It makes it easy to keep the project on schedule. If your project is a few months or a year long, it makes it harder to estimate the project schedule. Who can predict what might happen six months from now? When you divide the project into short sprints, you only need to schedule one or two sprints at a time. This means that the estimation period is much shorter and more accurate. Agile development also helps in keeping your clients happy. This is something that many people are unaware of. While you work on the project, your clients wait to see results. If the project is long and the clients don't see results for a period of several months, they start to worry whether things go according to plan. They also sometimes forget why they ordered the project in the first place and might change their mind about it. When you develop the project in sprints, each sprint is a mini project. At the end of the sprint, you release it to the clients. This shows them that the project moves forward and keeps them in the loop. They're likely to get less nervous about the schedule and be more committed to it. Okay, now let me show you how you build an agile project schedule. The first step is to divide the project into workable tasks and submit them to your issue tracking account as separate issues. Then go to scheduling and click on edit schedule to build the project schedule. The first step is defining a project. Click on the add button and choose the project option. Type the project name. The project's description and start and end date are optional. The system will automatically update the start and end date based on the schedule. Click save. Now that we have a project, the next step is to define the sprints. The sprint length is determined based on the project's length. For example, if the project is 12 months long, the sprints should be between 1 to 3 months each. On the other hand, the sprints should not be too short. They should be long enough to be considered as a small project. Click on the plus button next to the project's name. Choose the option Sprint. Type the sprint's name. The third step is to add the tasks that should be completed as part of the sprint. These are the actual work that will be done as part of the sprint. Click on the plus button next to the sprint name and choose the option Issue to add an issue from the issue tracking account. Select the account name and type the issue number. When done, click on Save. Repeat this until all the issues are added to the project. The final step of building the Agile project schedule is to define the estimated time for each issue in the sprint. Use the start and end date fields to define the schedule. As you can see, the schedule of the first sprint is set. You can repeat these steps to add additional projects and sprints to your project plan. That's all for now. If you already have an issue tracking account, you can add scheduling to your account for only $29.99 a month by going to Control Panel, clicking on Edit Accounts, then clicking on Manage Account List changing the scheduling package to premium, and clicking on the update button. If you still don't have an Elemental account, click on the sign up now button below to open a free trial account.